Enki. Enki. I heard you fine the first time. If you're a god, how come I've never heard of you? Perhaps you've heard me by my true name. <laughs> Anshi. People tend to mishear it. Anshi. No. Anshi. No. I like Enki better. Forth, aspirant, and be measured. What is that? No type of sorcery I've ever seen. Enough talk. Have at you. Come on. all that was about i'd say an old duty fulfilled at last
so damn funny. How you told me you'd die before you were back in uniform. One good deed is out the middle. Feed from the power of the world below, right? What does that mean? That they grow in power and ferocity over time, consuming everything around them. Unless it's stopped, a revenant will keep growing like a canker. Best we cut it out then.
catch on quickly. We set off for Wanderer's Rest, birthplace of civilization, and the richest, most educated place in the world. That is, until the gods got loose. Gods like Enki, the god of death. Who knows what else he's lied about? What kind of path he's leading Nor down? She's been trying to corner the death god, force him to come clean. He's dodged her so far. No matter. His luck won't hold after we find Yohara in first anchor. We'll make sure of that. Solid ground at last. Now you speak, after giving me the silent treatment for two weeks. See, the spark falls into the pan, making the powder ignite, and that's what propels the shot. So it blows up in your hand. Not if you do it right. Nor, a moment. I have news that might interest you. Ha! You have not been killed. Good. You had news, Forge Master. I've learned a group from my former order has been seeking a relic. They can have it then. My fight isn't with the knights anymore. This isn't some trinket, Nor. It's a piece of sacred armor, passed down generations. We cannot let it fall into their hands. They've been away from the peaks for a while. Couldn't we reason with them? That's a dangerous plan. Last I heard, the armor was entombed in Sun Shelter. I would start the search there. Thanks, Young. You can't play deaf and dumb forever, you know. Fire. What? The hamlet's on fire. Damn. Let's go. Invigorating.
them down, Lord. Lucas said Yahara was staying here. Let's go get them. I'm looking for someone. They're with the coalition. Reeks of black powder? Ill mannered like a mower with mites? That's the one, yeah. They left just before all the trouble with the dead started. They're not coming back, are they? Not if I can help it. There's a man camping out on Nomad's coast. People say he's a bandit trying to get back on the straight and narrow. And how are his former gang members taking it? Poorly. I dread to think what will happen to him at this rate. A mysterious woman came by here on her way to Cape Reunion. She couldn't stop raving on about her ancestral duty. You think she's mad? That, or at least religious. In any case, those back roads are hardly safe. A settlement out by Goatfoot Gorge is on its last legs. If it hadn't been for that coalition captain helping them. A coalition captain? Here? Is he recruiting? From what I hear, he could use all the help he can get. Mm. There's a burial ground for coalition soldiers just outside our hamlet. Perhaps I'll visit sometime. Pay my respects. No better time to confront your mortality than now. Don't be a stranger. Get the fire going. Thank mercy those ruffians are gone. Now we can travel in peace. Looks like one of your coalition insignia.
It was Bandit. Now it... You know I'm still mad at you after three peaks, right? Would you have accepted my help if... If I'd have known you were Death himself? Still haven't wrapped my head around that. But you lied to me, Enki. Don't ever do that again. Understood. Those knights haven't been at the peaks for a while. Do you think they'll listen to reason? Do you really want to take that risk? I don't know, Enki. None shall pass! I'm here to parley. Let me speak with your commanding officer. Sentinel Gerst, this is not seeing anyone. Especially not civilians. Tell him Norvanek wants to see him. He'll know who I am. Ah, uh, uh, oh. Follow me. No sudden movements. Understood? I'm busy, Teague. Whatever it is, I'm sure it can wait. Uh, a, a woman is here to see you, Sentinel. Name of Nor Vanik. Vanik. Bring her here. Immediately. You are an enemy of the judges. According to their missives, my killing you should put me in their good graces. Why come here in the first place, Norvanek? Because I've met your judges, and I know they're dishonest. But more importantly, because they've run the peaks into the ground. Turn the rest of your order against its people. They're not worth your loyalty, never mind your life. Ah, so that's it. I'm supposed to... Give up on my mission on an infidel say-so. I've said my piece. Do whatever you want. You've come to me with neither fear nor trickery. I respect that. You have earned yourself a trial by combat. In the traditional manner. And that means... It means a proper jewel. Steel on steel. No guns. Or bombs. Or black powder trickery. Best me and my knights will leave this place. And if you win? I, I promise to make it quick. But use your black powder weapons, and the deal is off. Understood? I want you know. <laughs> Is it true? What you said of the peaks? Every word of it. I swear on my life. The people need champions now more than ever. Then we'll set off at once. But before that... Here, the judges tasked us with 
finding this armor. It was made to serve the just and those who fight tyrants. I trust that you can make the most of it. I will. Thank you, Sentinel. We should take the armor to Jung. He'll know what to do with it. See, the spark. You found it. Souls below, look at it. Did the knights give you any trouble? They took some convincing. So Ramaha's poison didn't affect them all. Means there's hope for the order yet. Thank you. The armor has dents that need fixing, but even in this state, it will serve you well. Wouldn't you rather have it, Lord Master? It's a warrior's tool. Wear it proudly. Stay safe. Ha! Soldier's Memorial. We should go back. You can go back to the camp if you want to. I'd like to take a look around. Are you serious? Absolutely. <sighs> All right then. We might as well do it properly and light the vigils. Vigils? The fire watches for the dead. You don't let it go out. These don't look like any headstones I've seen. They can't bring the bodies all the way from Dawn. So, people make these shrines instead. I know this one. Again. Again. What is that? <laughs> but we called him. <laughs> he was a mower herder from out in the sticks. Had this accent we could barely make out. Every time he'd fire the cannon, he'd shout, Again! Again! <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck. Narwak. Echar Nark. This one was the face. Prettiest woman I'd ever laid eyes on. But pity me, was she cold. You never got along then? Not for lack of trying. Kutthachrar. Kri. Kurtmek. Why didn't you want to come here at first? All I've known are camps, trenches, and memorials. Thank you. I've spent my life in the first two, and I'll end up in the third. The hedge doctor. <laughs> Had the best hangover cures. Knew how to sleep with his eyes open. Impressive. Every other word he spoke was a lie. But you never could hold it against him. Ebram Nib, Kurdmek, Dobnom. What are those things you're saying at each shrine? An apology. For not being there for them. To hear their stories. Does that mean they'll be forgotten? Only if you let them. These soldiers. I was not in the below to receive them. To cleanse their souls and preserve their memories. These were my comrades. My friends. I... I didn't think about them until we were here, but... You shouldn't be the only one that remembers them, Enki. I know. But I would cherish them all the same.
said it was bandit. Now it's the dead. Feels like the old world's going down below these days. Just send another, another. They'll never let me go. What do those bandits want with you? I used to be in their band. Till I realized there's no way to live. I did some awful things, so I ran. I took as much loot as I could. I was gonna give it back to the people that I stole it from. But they haven't given me a moment's rest. What if I got that loot back for you? Oh, God, that'll mean the world to me. I buried it in caches along Nomad's coast. Hopefully the others haven't found them already. Just make sure you stay out of sight, all right?
These bandits really have it in for Jiri. If they get their hands on him. Everyone's sins catch up with them eventually, Nor. Pepper? Death God! You've arrived! You can't turn anyone down, can you? I've turned plenty of people down. Really? Like you? I... Very... Hmm. We should let him know we got them. Incoming. <laughs> 
shouldn't have left him undefended. They would have found him eventually. I didn't even think to ask where the loot's from. I have no idea who to return it to. You rid the Nomad's Coast of a deadly criminal band. Probably saved dozens of lives in the process. I'd say that loot's a suitable reward. How do you know me, woman? My ancestors witnessed your arrival long ago. But I've wandered too far. And too long. Follow me up the cliff. All will be made clear. This is pointless. <laughs> She's just some mad woman. She might be. But I'm not letting you off the hook that easily. We're here. Explain yourself. Five generations we have known you, and she. I was raised to welcome you. Bring you to this place. Just a little bit higher. I'm Enki, the god of subtlety. No one's ever heard of me. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. And I have known many of her ancestors, whoever they are. have worshipped me. I neither had a cult, nor wanted one. A cult? No, Hanshi. You gave us something better. You gave us power. Raised us from poverty. Allowed us to survive the harsh centuries. Not much longer now. Come, come.
You wrote your own rules, didn't you? Gave her magic? Absolutely not. But... Huh? Yeah? I do remember this place. A perch to watch the world from without being disturbed. When the droughts came, I tried to save it. I never imagined anyone would notice. These are dark times. The power we have has brought with it violence. And unwanted attention. Does it involve a lot of madmen with goat emblems? Lately, yes. And for this, we must bid Anshi's gift farewell. I'll see you at the summit. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. That's a pretty speech, Captain. But those people look exhausted. And you are? Norvanek, Sapper. At your service. Azra Dell, former captain. Came back to find my home ravaged, so I thought I'd help. I'm not gonna mince words, Sapper. These dead are like nothing I've ever seen before. These people are brave, but bravery alone won't cut it. Our only option is to inflict enough losses on them in a single battle that we have time to dig in. Sounds dire. So what's the plan? We need some specialists. A few veterans that served under me still live nearby. Problem is, we're no longer on best terms. They want nothing to do with me. Perhaps you could convince them. I'll see what I can do. On your feet, soldier. We... Hold on. Dozo! I'll be damned! It's Nor, the powder monkey! 
<laughs> I haven't seen you since I dragged you out of that cave-in at the crush. Oh, you wouldn't have. I lost a couple of toes because of it, so they sent me away on medical discharge. I never even got to thank you for that. You could do one better. The folks here at Goatfoot Gorge need some dead gone. For good. Azra couldn't muster the guts to look me in the eye. Could he? Consider them done for. But I'm not doing it for him. You hear? It seems people in the Coalition have respect for you. You do a good thing, you get a good thing back. It's not that complicated. Here on Captain Azra's orders. He's in need of a fencer. After kicking me out, he's got a lot of guts. Sending some sapper. We've need of you. The people at Goatfoot Gorge. I know you. You're Vanek. I am. I've got people back at the peaks. Told me there's a hefty price for the god killer's head. Is it worth your life? <laughs> it's certainly worth yours. to defend yourself. Anything was wrong? Softly. Fuck! Get back! At ease, soldier. Captain Azra sent me. Well, tough luck. I'm no longer with the Twelfth. You were in the Twelfth? I had no idea. Uh -uh. You've heard of us. I was at the matchhead when the dead almost broke through. You held them off long enough until we could bring in the cannons. I lost every friend I had that day. Swore I'd never pick up a musket again. The villagers out by Goatfoot Gorge need you. I know you and Captain Azra didn't part on the best terms, but could you be a hero again? For their sake? <sighs> Damn it. I'll meet you there. You didn't seem that determined. She'll come. It might be the last time she'll ever hold a musket, but she'll come. Papa? I got everyone I could. Zeng didn't make it. 
A shame, but we'll manage. Get ready! They could be here any moment! Here they come! Hold the line! of the rotters. Come on over, Sapper. You've earned your rest. That put a serious dent in their forces, and it's all thanks to you, Sapper. I was just doing my part. Even so, the people put something together as thanks for going above and beyond.
We ain't sharing. Too bad. Those ruffians are gone. Now we can travel in peace. from Sybil.
looks like Yahara's safe house. Looks like they packed up and left already. Damn. Looking for the one with the blue jacket? Stinks of black powder. Sounds like them, yeah. They left as soon as the dead came to first anchor. I tried to talk them into hiding with the rest of us, but... It didn't work. They would have been found anyway. The dead are all over this place. Said they were headed to back harvest. Only way there is through jagged ascent. You could still catch them if you hurry. I'd best get going then. Thank mercy those ruffians are gone. Now we can travel in peace. this then. How come Ramaha was so much bigger than you? Bigger than? Ramaha was a runt. Back in the great below, she would grovel in my presence. But you still looked like a, a tiny fox thing. Sandstorms would <gasps> cease so I could pass. The sky would dim when I'd howl. Then how? Pardon? I want to hear you. How? Is it me, or do those statues look like you? 
They were probably inspired by one of my visits. I travel to the above when the great below got too much to bear. And he was taking care of all the dead while you were up here. The ancients were made. be in the great below, but the processes of death continue. The door is still in place. Then what was your job down there exactly? You wouldn't understand. This. My travels above came with a price, Nor. But others had to pay it. Was that the arrangement you were talking about? Yes. <laughs> this temple belongs to Anaya, the goddess of life. She's not here, is she? Anaya's nothing like the others. She is compassionate. Understanding. Sounds like something special. Anaya's work always took precedence. It was her pride and joy. Sounds like you didn't care much for yours. I couldn't stay in the great below. She wouldn't leave. So you left her down there? I did everything in my power to ensure that the cycle would persist. But I can never make it up to her. I know that much.
We can get... This climb is pretty steep. Are you sure Yohara came this way? They probably picked the hardest route just to make me suffer. Yet you're going after them all the same. No choice. They're a sapper first, a bastard second. Ha! I'll just take this. Duck what? Fancy! <laughs> Your years above have been unkind, I see. Who's talking? There is no glory in killing you. Not when you're this diminished. Get rid of them. Enki, is this some kind of sick joke? Below, what are you doing here? Knee deep in another mess, I see. Just get me out of here, Gahara. Fine, cover your ears. I never thought I'd be happy to see you. The feeling isn't mutual. What are you doing here? Fascinating. You're ruder than I expected. Why is it talking to me? Luca got your letter. He's camped down the road with Baz and Young, the Fort Master. We're here to help. Never mind that. Wanderer's rest is a ruin. There's nothing for the Coalition here. We should leave while we still can. I thought the same about the peaks, but we still pulled through. You don't get it, do you, Vanek? There was some kind of huge battle. A god took over Sybil. It's over. You meet the others at the camp, and I'll take a look at the city myself. Well, it's your funeral. And Vanek, thanks for saving my brother. You look like you kept busy. You look worried. Sitting here. 
It's nothing, really. There's this stabilizing agent. Quack water. It's unproven, but nothing else has worked. Frankly, we're at a complete dead end. And this quack water, will getting it help you? Immensely. I'll do it. You will. <laughs> she said she'll do it. She would waste her time on nonsense. According to my sources, the stabilizer can be found in two possible water sources nearby. I, I made this simple test. Just dip this vial underwater. If it changes color, that's the source. Sounds simple enough. I'll be back as soon as I can. <sighs> Thanks, Norm. It means a lot, honest. Good luck out there. If you haven't brought something combustible, I'm not interested. I just thought something that looked like me had a had a gob boom at me from nowhere. I, I need a moment, all right? That's the thing up there. It can't be me. It isn't. It's an ehagri. It's think of it like a reflection, made real by magic for a single purpose. A coward's trick. I'm impressed. That's probably your worst idea yet. Unlike anything else you've tried has worked. Oh, have it your way then. See if I can. Poor use of our time going after puddles. Lucas said it's a stabilizer. It should stop his condition from getting worse. There's no cure the above can provide. <laughs> Luca is cursed. And a curse is only undone by destroying the <laughs> There it is. That water source Luca was talking about. This creature doesn't look like it's willing to share. Too bad.
not changing color. This isn't the place. Never get there it is. That puddle that Luca was talking about. Let's try it out. It changed colour. That's our water. <laughs> Let's give Luca the good news. Look at that. <laughs> What's this then? Here, one canteen full of magic water. It's alkali, and thank you. Here, that should do it. What in the pits is that? A gun that I've been tinkering with. I couldn't get the igniting catalyst to work, but with the water... I... I thought... What? No, what's wrong? I think we should give it a try. What do you think, Noel? Sure. Thanks, Luca. I've always got more ideas. So come back. A damn gun. I thought I was helping him and he was making some damn gun. Souls below. I feel so useless. You gave him joy. Helped him achieve something. What good is that? If this doesn't work... It's going to. It has to.
What happened? I was dead look blown away. Apparently, someone beat us to the punch. You're away from the front sapper. Did you do all this? I thought you were still in Dawn. I was. Until they sent you to blow up the door. Barely made it out of there. So I followed the trail of destruction you left behind. And I finally caught you. You have no idea what you're talking about. Don't I? You cut the gods loose. Left everyone else to suffer while you slinked away. I have done nothing except try to fix that mistake. For pity's sake, I killed one god back at the peaks already. You must take me for an idiot. Enough talk. Time to pay. You picked the wrong fight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
not have to hurt you, did. You're looking for someone to blame. Fine. Blame me. I tried that already. Didn't do anyone a single bit of good. So I decided to make it right instead. Started killing those gods I freed. And I will not go back until every single god is dead and gone. Don't you dare walk away from me! If you want me dead that badly, meet me at dawn. <laughs>